stage, we'll strike you there. Let's do it. This will be fun. I don't know how I got to this point, man. Ice House, Pasadena, sold out crowd. Fucking nuts. <laughs> it hit me the other day, I'm like, I'm the CM Punk of comedy. <laughs> I have no business being up here. Very strange, man. Vic. Oh yeah, that's how I got here. That's exactly how I got here. What are your thoughts looking back now at what Joe Rogan said to you about retiring when he was on the podcast, that famous episode? Yeah, the inf infamous episode with Joe Rogan. Brian and Joe didn't want to air that show. It's my idea to air the show. Just because I felt like that's real. And I, I think what made the Firing the Kid and kind of my success outside of fighting was just being real and bringing people on this journey, the highs and the lows. You looked very stiff. You looked very stiff. You didn't look fluid. You know, you just didn't look good. It didn't look like you were well prepared. I worry about your commitment to fighting and I worry about really? where you stand. I think you have one foot out the door. I think you're I looking, you disagree? Joe has a rough way of getting to the point. It's very black and white because he just wants to make sure that you know what's going on here. You're looking at wh where the future is going to take you and that you can't do this forever. And it hits me, I'm like, oh shit. I'm never gonna be champ. This is how this movie ends for me, isn't it? For athletes, you know, in college football, they don't tell you how to deal with uh, fame or, or money in the NFL. That's why a lot of guys go broke. The hardest part for any athlete, any performer, any entertainer is when it's over, finding that next chapter. In WWE and the UFC and the NFL, no one teaches you for life after this game is over. Uh, and then on, on, on the other side of that, it's like, you know, how long can I do this? And man, I want to keep going. I'm going to stay here until they run me off. You're a smart dude. And the problem with smart dudes is smart dudes think about concussions. You think about how many you've already had, how many you got coming up, how much damage you're taking in training. When does when does damage start to show up? That podcast, people were like, God, dude, that was so mean. I didn't take it that way. It was heartbreaking for sure, but it was also his way of saying, you can do other things, man. These other guys can't, you can't. Start doing that. I just believe that as a young person, you know, people get lost. And so I think rather than trying to find yourself, quote unquote, and I don't know what the fuck that means, I think uh, what you should do is get good at something. I, that's where I think getting your black belt in jujitsu has a lot of value. Learning how to play the piano has a lot of value. Learning a language has a lot of value. I promise you your life will be not only immeasurably better, but your, your understanding will increase. Brian had the idea, he goes, uh, dude, our show's doing well. We should do live podcasts. I go, that's a terrible idea. Have you ever been to a live podcast? There's two guys talking, like they need to be entertained. He goes, I know, we're gonna entertain them. We're gonna do a live like comedy show, performance show. It's not gonna be like the podcast. I went, well, I, I, but I don't do stand up. He goes, no, no, no. He goes, Rogan and I are talking about it. You're a great storyteller, man. You get up there, you're just gonna tell a story. Then we're in Chicago at Big Theater, biggest crowd we've ever had. Like, I don't know. 1,400 people sold out. And right before I go on, Brian goes, hey, are, you, are you, you all good for your set? I go, oh, my story. He goes, oh, Baba, you still call them stories. No, you do stand-up. This is stand-up. You're doing stand-up. I went, oh, shit. It does, you know, like a ball went off. Boom. I'm like, oh, shit, you're right. He goes, yeah, go do stand-up. One day I'm going through fucking Facebook, and I see that fucking Brendan Schaub's doing stand-up at the store, and I go, no. I thought you were going to go up there and tell a story about UFC pussy and fucking protein stinky pussy or something. <laughs> it was completely different. Can you tell us in general what your comedy seems to be about, what topics you're covering? You know, from CT, brain trauma, to, you know, uh, I'm a big dude who's way too into fashion and... <laughs> So it's all, you know, unique stuff. God, I'm a fuck boy. I own it though, man. 
It's so weird. The thing is, it wasn't like one day I was like, oh, fucking, let me just wake up dressed like an asshole and get this fucking Hitler haircut. I would never do that. Heart of hearts, I thought I was going to be world champion. I love talking about where I thought I'd be versus where I really am. So you're not fighting anymore. Why do you still train like an athlete? Why is that important to you? Um, I get it all the time. Like, I don't get why you train so hard. I mean, this is, I think training like this helps me with everything. Being creative, dealing with the stress of entertainment now, uh, my podcast, stand-up, TV shows, all that kind of, this is the kind of the the light for that. I think the whole point of staying in shape and being uh, physically optimized is so, is so that your body doesn't break down and get in the way of what you really want to do. I'm in my uh, house in the morning doing my set. At night I'm doing my set. I'm drilling every three, four times a day. I had a break for, during the show I'm doing it. Repetition, repetition, repetition. These are both arts. Yep. I don't give a fuck what anybody tells you. Yep. MMA and stand-up are both fucking arts, man. I consider you an artist just like me. Well, I'm gonna end it on that. I can't thank you guys enough for coming out. I love you guys. Hope you have fun. Pasadena, I'm out. Dude, there's there's no there's no blueprint, man. I just go, man. Head head down, I go. I'm just getting started, man. Like, I feel like this young kid that's just grinding, and you give me an inch, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a mile. New look? Yeah. All right, new look. New look, guys, let's go. Let's do a new, new look. Me to rock like that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>